Hello everyone, this is me Satya here and I'm back with another series of reads which I will be doing for all the signs. This reading is going to be for the sign of Pisces. So yeah, topic of the reading is going to be love notes from your person. Whoever it is that you are dealing with, let's find out what is it that they really want you to know. Uh, what is it that they secretly wish to tell you but they, you know, um, they find themselves unable to express it openly. We're going to tap into all of that. What do they want to say to you and all of uh, their messages for you so yeah uh stay tuned for that but before i dive into the read let me remind you it's a general reading it when it may not resonate with everyone out there so always pick the messages which are resonating and leave the rest for personal reads you can always reach out to me on my email id in the description box you can also follow me on instagram where i do upload daily readings so let's dive into the read and let's find out from my fishies what is it that your person really wants you to know whoever it is that you're dealing with let's find out what do they secretly wish to tell you what is it that they want you to know first we're gonna um ask the question with the tarot and then we will pull our master's cards from your person as well so yeah let's begin what is it that they secretly wish to tell you what are their love notes for you the Wheel of Fortune, um, they really want you to stick to them, stick by their side. Uh, they believe things are changing and they believe things are changing swiftly and uh, just don't give up on them yet. This person really wish you to know that um, they are trying to work things out. They are trying to bring balance. They are trying to stay uh, connected to you. They are trying their best they could do to give you what you desire with them. They believe that the changes that you desire are on its way, so just be patient with them. They really want you to know that um, whatever they were working towards, whatever they were uh, giving their time and energy to, they are going to get free from that very soon. So just try to be understanding and try to um, wait on for them they are trying to be strong here because uh, maybe they also wish to spend as much time as they uh, as you would want to spend with them but somehow um things don't um you know the circumstances don't let this happen so just just be patient with this person let's see what else do they want you to know they really want you to know they have a lot on their plate right now but sooner they are going to deal with it in the right way so just be patient with this person um they really want you to know that there is a lot in their life that is going on and they don't know how to deal with it uh try to be patient try to be supportive try to be with them and don't just yet give up on them and the connection let's take one last card queen of swords They really like that fact about you that you have never given up on them as of now. They really want you to stay like that. Um, they do have issues with the, with the words that you speak to them. They do get upset with those words. They do get upset with, the, with the, maybe a lot of you sending a lot of messages to your person. That could be for some of you out there, which doesn't have to be applicable to everyone. But yes, maybe you are somebody who talks a lot. They really want you to know, um, even though this is something which annoys them, but this is also one of the things that make them realize how important they are to you. So they at times hate it, but at times they really like it as well. They like the fact that you stay with them, but yes, maybe they don't stay with you as much as you stay with them all the time. And... But they really want you to know that this is something that they really like. Let me take one clarifier for the Queen of Swords. They know that they, they are not doing justice to you right now. But um, they really want you to know that sooner they will. So again, just be patient. Let's see what's underneath the deck. Four of Pentacles. Your person really wants you to know that um, they will never give up on you. You know, maybe you think that your person doesn't want you and they, they would be happy if you leave them and this and that. But deep down, this person is also not going to let you go. So if you are manifesting this person, trust me, this person is also manifesting you not to leave them. So even if you try, even if you try harder, you would fail to do so because this person is not letting you go. Um, they really want you to know that they... It's, 
it's more like you know this person has um, this person tries to um, they, they really try their best to it's it's more like you know they, they try hard um, try with their best to maintain balance but they fail to do so you know their family you uh, other people their friends maybe uh, they all complain to them is what I'm picking up here it seems like you know your person fails to bring balance in their life and somehow they feel that they are doing balance in actuality they fail to do so uh, your person is somebody who doesn't see the things as 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 they are you know they do think that they are doing their best in actuality this person if if they are uh, if they look within they will understand that they have been doing unjust to you and the people around them as well somehow they you know this is one of those people um you know if if they are doing five uh you know work in in five days a week uh the two days that they give time to the family or you is what they believe is the balance in the situation in actuality it should not be counted as one they have to make sure that they spare some time every single day to to uh, to spend with you to their family and everything as well but somehow this person manages it a different way like you know for some of you your person could be somebody who's very busy maybe they have very toxic kind of uh, work environment maybe they have you know such a burdensome workload uh that could be the case for some of you but they really want you to know that they are doing their best that's what they want you to know um this person feels like you know they do have love for you deep down they they have that feeling but somehow they don't they don't show that with their actions at all and but at the same time this person doesn't want you to go as well let's see what else do they want you to know what else do they want you to know let's take cards for uh, those of you who are checking this reading for their exes let's see what do they want you to know first and then we will take the other messages as well maybe this could be the message of the current person as well but majorly i call it the x deck so yeah let's see what is it that they want you to know i am afraid you would reject me for those of you who have uh, left this person, they might be like, you know, at times thinking to come back to you, but they fear that you might reject them when they come to you. Why? Because uh, they might not have anything stable to offer to you again. So let's see. Let's see. What else do you have? I regret lying to you. So this person might be lying to you uh, about something or may have lied to you about something in the past which could be the reason why you broke up or why you pulled apart from this person uh this person could have lied about how they feel for you maybe they they told you that they don't feel a thing for you but deep down they had the feelings for you for sure so your person seems to be very protective of their feelings let's take one last card from this deck i know uh okay we have two cards actually here so let's take both of them okay hold on yep I know I was a distraction from your pain. This person is somebody who's a narcissist, for sure. This person is like, you know, somebody who's going to do something wrong and then going to blame that on you. I don't react when people mention you. So this person is definitely missing you, thinking about you. You, you might have some mutual friends as well, but somehow this person choose not to react when your name is taken by uh, you know their friends uh, and they they choose not to talk about you so this person is somebody who is um who doesn't feel uh accepting or confessing what they truly feel you that's them let's see what else do they want you to know the grass was not greener on the other side now i feel like you know for those of you who are your person, your person is sooner or later going to realize that, you know, them not giving you time, if they felt like you know, they're going to be okay without you, that's not the case or that's not going to be the case for them. So they really want to, you know, um, sooner or later, they really want you to know one thing. Um, the grass was not greener on the other side. They felt like, you know, it's going to be easy for them to live without you. But in actuality, it, it wasn't the case for them. So this person really wants you to know that, you know, for those of you who have been detached for quite some time, this person really wants you to know that. Um, 
whatever they are working towards, be that stability, financial abundance, whatever it is that they are working right now and ignoring you, not giving you enough time, which is why they secretly want you to know some things. This person does feel that, you know, it was, it was like, you know, it was a mistake for them to not give you or, or uh, give you time or prioritize you and, you know, waste their time and energy onto other things. They felt like, you know, that's going to bring them stability, but in actuality, that didn't help them to have the stability because the stability that they seek is with you. I could not face you for what I did, so I ghosted you. Now, your person is, like I told you, this person is a narcissist and, and I'm so sure with this energy here, this person would do anything and everything to make you feel bad for doing what wrong they are doing to you. Like, you know, it's more of energy of a person who's gonna blame you uh, and, uh, you know, for, you know, if, if, uh, if they are not talking to, you and talking to you and if you complain about that, they're gonna feel like, you know, as if you are being uh, more demanding. So that's the person that you are dealing with and that's the person you are talking to right now and that's them. Uh, you know, it's, it's more like, you know, your person seems to be very uh, much uh, self-centered. They don't think from your perspective at all. Like, you know, they don't consider your perspective at all. They do say things uh, that means to them. So they are definitely not prioritizing you in their life. If you really want things to change, I feel like you know you really need to value yourself more so you could you could have that image change for your person where they have been taking you for granted, where they have been, you know, using or abusing your emotional kindness towards this person. You really have to make them understand that yes, you are worthy of whatever it is that you desire and this person cannot treat you the way they have been treating you. They do have love, but somehow they are somebody who's a narcissist uh, or you know they have some uh you know um lethal kind of uh, um it's your person is toxic in a way is what i'm picking up their, their energy is very toxic they what they feel they don't show what they show they they they, they use um such a blame game kind of a situation is what I'm picking up. But yeah, that's pretty much it coming up for you for the street. If the reading resonated or if it helps you to know what is going on with your persons and, you know, uh, energy and what do they want you to know. If it helped you, uh, do like, share and subscribe if you're willing to get a personal reading or any of the services that I offer to manifest a change coming from your person to, to get your wish uh, fulfilled with your person. You can check the description box for the services I offer around that. So yeah, till I do the next reading for you guys, take care and bye-bye.